Hello, everybody. This is Tom Eckert here. You're listening to my podcast, Numerology, a GPS for the soul. This is your place to learn about the true power of numerology and how to use it to bring out the best in yourself, understand your loved ones better, take wise decisions, and prepare for your future. In other words, how to live your life aligned with your true destiny. Take your time to educate yourself and share these podcasts with your friends and family so they too can enjoy the great benefits of numerology. Enjoy! Hello everyone, welcome to all my listeners. I'm happy to record yet another episode. And today we are about to discuss the very, very interesting topic of karmic debt number 13-4. But for those of you, of you who are new here, um, this podcast is all about numerology as a path for inner transformation, for inner growth, self-knowledge. So my attempt in this podcast is to make you numerology uh, useful, grounded, accessible for everyday matters so that we can understand ourselves better. Now, for those of you who haven't gotten the chance to have a numerology reading done to you, I invite you to contact me if you're interested in one. If you happen to have an interest in learning numerology on a deeper or even professional level, you can also contact me through the link provided in the episode description. And lastly, there's a secret episode in my podcast that holds a coupon that is exclusive only to my podcast listeners, with a 65% off for my online numerology course. So go ahead, check that out, and let us dive in to our episode for today. So for those of you who don't know, karmic debts are a unique and, and challenging journey on our path. They're not bad. They're not good. No number is bad or good, and that's very important to understand in numerology. Um, now, they can appear as a core number in our chart, say life path or expression number or any other one of the core numbers, but it can also appear in one of our period cycles, for example, a personal year, um, a cycle, a pinnacle. And in this episode, we are about to explore what are the lessons what is the experience? What does, what does it feel like to have a 13-4 life path and a 13-4 personal year? So these are the two arenas I'm going to zoom into with regards to the 13-4. Now, as I already mentioned, karmic debts are challenging but are not bad, okay? So it's important for all of us to let's, let's get rid of that notion that any number is bad, or good. It's a potential. And even those numbers that inherently hold more challenge in them, they are not bad. They are a form of a lesson. Sometimes we humans, right, we challenge ourselves on purpose because it makes us grow and we love challenges. So we can see it from that angle as if the soul chose a certain lesson to hone in on and to basically, you know, reach a more refined understanding on a specific topic. However, we're going to look at it from another angle. Now, in a way, um, these are lessons that need to be lived, understood, and eventually become a gift to ourselves, to the world. Um, in numerology, we understand karmic debts, and I'm going to say that really, really in short because I have a whole episode about karmic debts. You can listen to that. I really recommend that. Basically, we we say in numerology that in previous lifetimes, we left something, some kind of unfinished business, and in that way, we created a certain debt that needs to be balanced in this lifetime. And that's why having a karmic debt would kind of put us in a position of having what we can call a little bit like of an overdraft. We start with an overdraft or, or we start with like an uphill journey until we get to a place where we can call it a gift. Okay? Um... Now, I'm not going to focus um, on the number four as a life path, right? I'm going to focus more on the challenging parts because we're talking here about the karmic debt specifically. So that's a 13. 
Um, but don't worry, we're not going to talk only about the challenges. We are definitely going to um, talk about the gift. Uh, each karmic debt has a gift, has a certain transformation that occurs once a person is willing to accept the lesson and um, be refined by it. And eventually it can even become a very unique form of power. Okay, so let's dive right in. We're going to start with the 13-4 as a life path. Now, like all fours, okay, also 13-4 are meant to discover the meaning of self-discipline, order, a healthy structure, the ability to work and plan for the future, to take responsibilities, to be this kind of solid rock, a reliable personality. However, as opposed to a non-karmic debt for, they will tend to resist a lot of their responsibilities. They're going to resist a lot of the ways in which reality is going to appear before them, especially when something happens that they don't like or don't want. So you can really imagine that the 13-4 personality, a little bit like a child that shrugs their shoulders and stomps on the floor and is simply unwilling to accept a certain reality. A child that throws a tantrum every time something isn't working their way. Now, naturally, as we grow into being adults, we're not going to throw a tantrum like a child does, or we're not going to stomp right our feet on the ground, but we're going to develop these subtle quirks and idiosyncratic ways of expressing our resistances. Right, So it's going to be more like sometimes like, for example, bearing a lot of anger inside of us and kind of like expressing it indirectly. You understand what I'm, what I'm saying? Or whatever is said to us, we're kind of resisting. Like, but what do you mean by that? But I don't understand. But what do you mean? Right? Like, it, it's almost like we don't want to sometimes um let someone tell us something or instead of kind of trying to kind of flow with something a, a person is trying to communicate with us we're going to try to resist it by as if pretending we don't understand or building up a lot of anger and expressing it in a passive aggressive way okay so that's one way of the of the 13 4 to resist so Let's talk a little bit more about like their their experience. Let's open it up. So I already kind of mentioned the word resistance, and it's important to understand that the resistance is to life as a whole, and it it makes them very inflexible personalities. Um, now again, please don't limit yourself to that when I am describing naturally when I'm describing all of right all of the aforementioned. But I'm just saying, just remember that this is the description of the challenging sides, of, like, of the downsides, because naturally that's the focus when we're talking about like a karmic debt, but it's not all of you. It's just really something you have to deal with, right? So being inflexible, being too rigid, again, hating when things don't go the way they want them to, right? And it's like this attitude of keeping bumping their head into a wall instead of finding a creative solution to a problem. It's like, why does this not work the way I wanted it to? I want it to work my way, but why? But why? But why? And you kind of you want to come and you know you come to them, you want to approach them, tell them, hey, hey brother, hey sister, look, you've tried this now for the 15th time. It's not working this way. Why don't you just find another way around it? Right? And that's something they really need to learn. Now, they also bear a kind of strong emotional contraction that makes them not want to admit what's not working inside of them emotionally speaking right it's like they they hate to admit that like there are blockages like they're constantly feeling blocked they're constantly feeling like uh, this uh, feeling okay like anger frustration with life but they don't want to show it so often there's like a lot of 
pent up anger and frustration, but they will pretend as if they got it all together. So again, if you happen to be a 13-4, especially, especially as a life path, then you want to be more attentive to that because it's a tricky, it's a tricky thing. The ego plays, you know, these tricks on us and it wants us to avoid, you know, the heart of the matter. So in a way, the 13-4, the you'll find them sometimes pretend as if they got it all figured out. Although it's not the truth, it's simply not the case. Um, it's part of their way of resisting life's calling to touch deeper and find authentic solutions. Now, I'm going to just, um, as a side note, I want to just give you like an example. I had a client. I had, um, um, I don't like the word client, by the way, because as a spiritual guide, I more like to call it like a guide, okay? Like one of my guides, he had like um, Life Path 13.4. He had soul urge 134 and personality 134 so three 134s out of the five core numbers and he wanted to work with me as a spiritual guide to to to, to get my assistance in right in in kind of like moving to the next stage of evolution opening up and every session that he came in total it was four sessions so this guy came and no matter what we talked about no matter what we said he simply gave me that kind of like feeling that Everything is already understood. Everything's already understood. It's all cool. All is cool, man. And at some point I had to ask him, so I don't understand. You're coming to me. And no matter how deep we we, we want to go, no matter what I present to you, no matter what we're working on, you're just sitting here basically telling me that you got it all figured out. So what made you come here? Why on earth have you spent... Your time, my time, have you wasted your time, my time, spent money on that just in order to showcase, to show me or whatever or yourself that everything's figured out, right? Now, of course, as a 13-4 that is not really, say, free or hasn't really cracked open kind of that lesson or, you know, right, really hacked the, the, the lesson and found the solution, he didn't have really a good answer to that. Again, the answer was kind of like, yeah, everything is okay, everything is, but that's not the truth, okay? Just to give an example. Let's go on and explore further their experience because, wow, I mean, 13-4, I have some good friends with 13-4 and that, that can be a drag. A drag is a good word for 13-4. Um, they're going to experience many delays, okay? Many setbacks in, in their life, in their career, in, but not only, not only like the big things. Very often, it's actually going to be in the small things. Sudden cancellations, uh, sudden unexpected tasks that they have to, I don't know, have to attend. This can be like a sudden bill that appears and it's incorrect. And then they have to go through this whole bureaucratical process, which is slow and daunting and Right, or they will have to. I don't know. There's like a, they have to reach a certain, um, I don't know, meeting, and suddenly the bus is late, but like by thirty minutes, and it's all kind of like you know, it's hot outside, and they're on the bus, and finally the bus arrives, and then the bus has like some, I don't know, like a punctured wheel, I don't know, whatever, and it's again a delay, and it's all kind of, right? So it's like, or I got a friend wonderful friend 13 for life path and he he has been trying to film himself um for like an online course he created the guy simply tried for hundreds of times to to do that and every time he claims there's some problem it's either he just starts recording the camera i don't know something goes wrong with the camera Next time the camera is okay and fixed he starts recording somebody starts drilling nearby whatever you know you know what i mean so like there's every every time there's something coming up that really uh creates a lot of setbacks and in a way it's like it's part of the it's like part of the karma that basically tells them listen you must learn to accept life right because they they resist right so life in a sense throws at them all these obstacles right? All these obstacles so that they learn to surrender. 
so that they learn to accept what's in front of them. The fridge stops working. The car engine dies in the middle of nowhere. All right, again, bureaucracy, sometimes issues with the law. It's like, really, it's daunting, it's boring, it's frustrating, right? So, so that's, that's really part of their experience. Um, oh, another thing that comes to mind is issues of, like, health issues, for example. Suddenly, like, a bizarre health issue, and now they need to go to the doctor to take care of it, and it's annoying, and it's like, what the heck? Where did that come from? This is also something that can happen a lot with, like, 13 fours. As they, they are like a physical number. It's like a root chakra issue. Now, they must learn patience. They must learn acceptance. Surrender to reality. Surrender to what is. There's this famous teacher called Byron Katie. And she has a famous book called Loving What Is. And that's really like in a nutshell what the 13-4 needs to focus on. So we're talking about loving what is. Accepting what is surrendering to what is they need to learn flexibility and to actually do the work that that needs to be done because they resist hard work which is kind of like um the exact opposite of what a four needs to be like right it's like it's 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 not what you'd expect but actually if you think about one three thirteen that makes it four. One, three are both very childlike, very kind of like youthful, teenager-ish numbers. And in, in some way, we can see the karma there. It's like they're childish. They're not taking the responsibility that they should, which is the four. They should become the four, right? Um, they will often get stuck with like very fundamental topics relating to like the basic, most basic like survival. And that's, you know, it's like, Again, I gave some examples before, but like, you know, there's no electricity suddenly. There's a problem with my landlord. There was a flood in their office and there's no income for a whole month because offices are down. I don't know. Closed, whatever. It's like they're always somehow having to deal with these fundamental, basic, you know, basic topics of life related to like the basic survival. Um... Again, because they're brought back to the basics, which they have to attend. It's like, as I said, accepting life, surrendering to life. Something about the 13 four keeps you stuck, right? So stuckness is like a very strong energy of 13 four. It makes you overly petty, focusing on like these tiny details and being too stubborn about it. And like, and for no reason, just because there's like that raw resistance. And they also have a tendency to pessimism. So now you probably feel very discouraged. <laughs> but um, really, this should not be understood in any self-deprecating way. It's really... Um, it's, it's just so you get a clear picture of what the challenge feels like and looks like. Because this challenge, after I'm going to describe... What is the 13 4 personal year like? I'm going to move into the positive side because it's not that you are kind of like cursed, you know what I mean? Like, to, um, if there's like this predicament that you are meant to experience this your entire life, it's not about that. Some of it, okay, it will be there, but you are absolutely able to refine it as you go through life, especially if you work through it consciously. So after talking about 13-4 life path, let us um, move to our next step, which is talking about 13-4 personal year. Now, as a personal year, the 13-4 naturally isn't anything as strong as a life path, but it can be, for that time period, a very deep, a very challenging, and even important lesson that will leave an important impact on your future. And that's why it's important to talk about personal years, as I also did with the 16-7 karmic debts in that episode, which I really recommend to listen to as well. So this year will invite possibly, okay, financial struggles. 
uh, sudden decrease in work or sudden demand, a more demanding atmosphere. There's something that goes into these extremes of the four. Very often, for example, like there was a business deal that was about to be done and sealed and finished. That was, you know, there was supposed to be like a nice transaction coming and suddenly it all got delayed. Imagine like the Corona crisis in many, many ways. It's like representing a bit like a 13-4 energy. The Corona, the, the COVID-19 crisis is like creates a lot of 13-4 energy because it gets things stuck and delayed. And there's a lot of frustration and many things were kind of like damaged on the very basic level, like the survival level. Um, so there's also a need to work harder sometimes and find like financial solutions find work solutions. Things don't work out the way we planned them initially. We might have strategized a certain, you know, work um, plan, a business plan, and suddenly we have to readapt because um, our business partner left or is sick. You understand? So it's a little bit like things that happen that can happen during that year and we'll have to find solutions. Sometimes... Um, Physical health issues, you know, will pop up demanding our attention and care during that year because it's like a root chakra year in a sense. And the 13-4 might, again, bring bring about some, you know, health topics we might we might need to deal with or we might we, we might not have wanted to see. And 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 now it's time for us to kind of deal with. Um, so, again, this can cause a sudden change of plans in our desired plans. Uh, for example, you paid for a trip and a trip you were waiting for for a long time to the mountains, to another country, to the ocean, whatever, and suddenly you have to cancel. This is a typical 13-4 experience. Now, we may need to catch up with debts we've left behind, um, sometimes settle all kinds of bureaucratic procedures that are kind of like, you know, just waiting for us to take care of, to be taken care of. Um, again, sometimes issues with the law. Again, some of the things I'm mentioning here, I've I've kind of already mentioned in regards to the life path, but it's on a smaller scale. It's more like, like it's more periodic here, okay? So personal years are always from birthday to birthday. And if you happen to have like a 13, four year, you will experience these things during that time, which may have an effect, of course, you know, on uh, later years to come. But still, it's not like the the major focus of your life. But you, it's good to be prepared. It's good to work with the energies. Now, I want to also explain that sometimes, like the thirteen four, because it has this energy of like slowdown, it might kind of you might experience that you cannot move as quickly as you wanted this year. Like even if you had everything planned, everything like perfectly arranged, every, everything like set before you already, all the strategies, everything, you know what I mean? It might be that something happens that forces you to slow down, sometimes kind of like make you go to the very, how shall I say, like to the very beginning you know what i mean like fall back to the very beginning and kind of like rearrange things from the bottom up so this is also a possibility of the 13 4 as a, as a year frequency um it may call us to work a little harder in order to see results um and it won't happen as fast so we just need to be patient during a 13 4 year wow we said a lot. We really said a lot. I said a lot. I mean, uh, if you're still with me here, then chapeau. I'm really proud of you because um, it's definitely a frustrating kind of energy to listen to and to learn about. But to get, hey, I mean, we love neurology and we want to learn. We want to learn ourselves. We want to study ourselves and understand our beloved ones and so on. So after having said all of that, I think we got a good grasp on, you know, what what's the experience? What's the general lesson and energies of the third and four and now we are ready to step into the gift, the gift of the 13-4, the lesson and the gift. So I was kind of already, I've kind of, I was insinuating to that like earlier, but that eventually in a sense, like the 13-4 is a gift of surrender to what is. 
Okay, I was actually I wasn't even hinting at that. I was literally saying it, but like, okay, let's talk about it really, really, you know, um, in the most transparent way. Eventually, the 13-4 is a gift of surrender. Surrender to what is. It teaches us how to really love what is and actually become very soft, very flexible. Potentially speaking, we can say that the 13-4, having worked on themselves, they can become actually maybe the most flexible four of all. Really having learned what it is to surrender, let go of resistance, becoming a more creative kind of four. So it teaches us to accept the challenges of life as they are. Work with them without arguing, without fighting. And as a result, finding a sense of love and flow inside of us. Instead of resistance, instead of anger. So, 13 fours often will find themselves wrestling a lot with what is until they become more and more refined. And the more refined they become, they will find as if they're like just, you know, releasing that type, tight grip and like those fists, you know, and like slowly just opening their hand, their palm, releasing all the tension in the muscles and just loving what is. Right? So it can become very creative. Always working with reality, always working with whatever comes its way, always finding a solution rather than banging their head into the wall. Now, as a personal year, the 13-4 will help you come up with core solutions to certain issues. As I already kind of mentioned, it'll help you reach to the very bottom of where a blockage lies and build a foundation from the very roots. So it'll slow you down, but that slowing down will help you to make adjustments to the way you use your energy so that you use it wisely. For... Four, the number four in general is about not wasting energy, being masterful with how I use my energy. And so the 13th four, being resistant, resistance is not wisely using my energy. So on the positive side, it will teach me, it will slow me down so that I can make adjustments in the way I use my energy so that I can use it wisely. It'll bring you back to the basics of what's really important and what's needed in your life. Okay, folks. So just, you know, remember, although the ride isn't always easy, as I like to say with karmic death numbers, the, the purpose, the intention is good. And if you work towards becoming more aware and conscious. If you work with the calling of the 13-4, you will reap the rewards and become a beautiful role model of the gifts and the powers of the 13-4. Wonderful, my dears. So that kind of wraps up the topic of, a th of the 13-4. Now, as always, I would really love to hear more about your experience with numerology. And that's why I am posting usually a question in my episodes. These are currently visible only on Spotify. But if you read them and give your answer, it really helps me learn more about your experience, who you are. And again, getting to know you, my listeners, helps me just make better episodes. So I'm super curious and I'll be really happy if you take a moment and just answer the question I post on this episode. Again, remember, you can only see it and answer it on Spotify. Now, just to remind you, if you want to get a numerology reading, you're welcome to contact me through my website. 
if you want to study numerology, if you want to open yourself into numerology as a profession or just as another method that can really open your mind, I give one-on-one in-depth studies. You're welcome to contact me again, the same link, link to my website. And just to remind you that there's the secret episode on my podcast that gives you a 65% discount for my online numerology course. So just search for it, and I hope you enjoy it and make use of it. That's it for today, my friends. Uh, Happy to share with you, and I will see you, as always, in the next episodes. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. If you did, and you want to go deeper into numerology, check out my website, tom-eckert.com. You can also book a numerology reading or even study numerology yourself through my courses. I'll see you in the next episode.